Well, there's a new movie out in theaters tomorrow that tells the tale of a young man getting to know his grandfather in a way he has never known him before. It's also about a grandfather getting to know his grandson in a way he's never understood him before. Take a look at the clip from The Samuel Project. We have to find something historic that intrigues us. And to me, that's you. You want to tell the story of an old dry cleaner? Well, I do remember. I don't want to remember. I'm done remembering. What was it like back then? Different. Do you know anything about the war? What happened? I'm Laura, Uma's granddaughter. Laura! If it wasn't for Uma, you and your father would not be in this world today. You have a story that needs to be told. Oh, you like me. I can tell your story in pictures. Hmm. It's such a treat to welcome Hal Linden and Ryan Ochoa to Better Today. Thank you so much for both being with us. Pleasure. Thank you. All right, I guess the first question is, Hal, did you learn anything about the younger generation? And Ryan, did you learn anything about the older generation? <laughs> uh, I, I did. I did. You know, part of the theme of this movie is the, the distance between generations and the the work that Ryan does to, to bring them back together. Uh, as we said, as we know, the generations specifically push themselves away from the, the past. They don't want your music anymore. We have our own and we wear our clothes differently and cut our hair differently. But also language. Did you know that cool is out and lit is in? <laughs> I oh, did. Yeah. My kids only say lit. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, lit. Lit. So speaking yes, about... And Ra Ryan is lit. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, what was it like for you to... I imagine this must... Besides all that you learned, I imagine, about World War II, tell us a little about the story. <clears throat> and then did you also just learn from being around the legend that is Hal? The the le the legend, or as Hal likes to call it, the national treasure, <laughs> at least great greatness. Yeah, I'm so in the I'm in the presence British. of greatness. Uh, it it was an honor, and and I know I don't you know not to sound cliche, but he Hal has been around. He's lived life. He's worked with the the greats, and our generation doesn't know these these names. Judy Holiday, and and these are people that changed the game for our generation and transcended the industry for us and Hal Linden being at the at the top you know mm. and uh, yeah I was lucky but going back to the story uh, the story is about a high school senior who gets assigned an art project and ends up making it about his grandfather's history and go they end up building a relationship through that through this project and our generation really needs to seek out and learn their family history and not just history just stories and listen to where they came from because if you don't know you don't know where you're going unless you know where you came from or where you've been and especially people like how they have amazing fascinating stories and nowadays our generations on the phone not saying I'm not because I'm I'm one of them but our lives can be so much richer from knowing these stories and, and your history and who you know where you did come from. Ryan, the um, the the story is told through the medium of art. Do you, you know, and you know how you call it doodling, and you're like, can you make a career out of that? <laughs> but yet, yet it's it's a really beautiful medium to tell the story through this. You know, the art form. And and if there's a, if there's something to be gleaned from this movie, it's that art. Can be more eloquent than words. Mm. It's it's through his art that that the found the generations begin to begin to come together again. Yeah. So yes. I don't want I don't well, want to. Well, give what we a, love of a, I was gonna say I don't want to give anything away with the movie, but give us a little bit of idea. What is the secret that you're hiding, Hal? And what do you uncover about your oh, grandfather? No, no, it's, it's it, it's not a secret. Uh, 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 Samuel was a, a survivor from the Holocaust. Uh, although our Holocaust story is, is quite unique and uh, not the one you'll see in all the other Holocaust pictures. It's not a dark it's very, movie. It's not a dark movie at all. Mm. But the Holocaust was a painful period. The whole um, war was painful for people. And uh, what's the lyric? What's too painful to remember? We simply choose to forget. Mm -hmm. So he's uncomfortable talking about that period and it takes 
it takes uh, the boy's dedication to get him to, to tell his story finally. Well, we want to thank the both of you for being here on Better Connecticut. <laughs> uh, good luck and congratulations on the wonderful project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the Samuel Project opens in theaters nationwide tomorrow.